Isaac, what do these numbers mean and what are the differences between, aside from the ones that I mentioned in terms of the percentages of uh, ethnicity that are voting and uh, age that are voting for uh, Warnock versus uh, Herschel Walker? What, what do these numbers suggest and what are the differences in the voters? Uh, I think the difference is when you talk about young white voters, I think young white voters are telling America we're not our grandfathers or we're not our parents. We want to see everybody thrive. I think that's what the, I think that's what the crux of young white folk uh, uh, are voting, and they want to see equality for everybody. They want to be able to have an opportunity if they are uh, LGBTQ. Uh, they want to have the opportunity to marry who they want to marry. They want an opportunity to have social security when they are uh, working for forty years. Uh, when we talk about black voters, black voters want to continue to see civil rights act out as their grandfathers and their forefathers and grandmothers have fought for. They want to continue to see that momentum put forward. So when those two people collide together, they want to see a better future uh, than what we left it. Uh, fighting, fighting each other over every issue, making everything racial. They're saying, hey, we're people, we're human rights people, and we want to see everybody thrive in the way that you do. Whatever you work for, you should be able to, be, uh, to, be able to, uh, to attain it, and we're not going to stop in your way. And I think that's what we're moving towards, a system that works for everyone and not just for the few at the top and not for people, government to come in and say, we're going to make this choice for you, because that's what Republicans are doing. Every step of the way, hey, we'll make this choice for you. Hey, but when it's in their benefit, oh, we're going to leave that to states. So it, 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 it goes back and forth with Republicans. If it's in their favor, oh, we're going to leave that to the states. The federal government should make that choice. But if it's something they strongly believe in, oh, we'll make that decision at the top. So it, it's just crazy uh, that these members are the way they are, but it does show um, that we're moving in the right direction. Whitley? Do you not believe in states' rights, Isaac? Do you not believe that the people most elected to represent you should be the ones living in your state that you have direct access I believe, to? I believe in states' rights all the time, not just when it benefits you. Okay. I believe in them all the time. Do you believe in them all the time? Because what, because what you just said was that we shouldn't federalize things and that you should have states' rights. You guys can't have it both ways. You cannot run on protecting women and having women's rights and then in the same breath say that you don't know what a woman is. Your party is a party of chaos and confusion. You guys cannot define anything. It's about choice. It's it. about choice. You change who it's you are, what choice. you believe and what principles that you stand on consistently. You do it consistently. We still have not gotten into Jim Crow Joe Biden and what he has done systemically for years to black people in this country. But because he was running against Donald Trump, I guess he's our Joe. No, he's not our Joe. He's not our Joe. His policies have been negative for our community and he is consistently pandering to us, promising us stuff and then taking it away over and over again. Okay. So fighting for, fighting for Dr. Walker, he did Medicaid. promise us that that student, uh, you know, exclude that that student loan forgiveness, and then took it right away. Well, no, it's it, you know, it, it, so it was a, a federal federal judge just came in and, and is an injunction, and then the Supreme Court will review it in February of next oh, year. Voters. So. The, so that, that's now that's that's how our and certainly how our bodies of government work between the uh, judiciary and the difference in the executive and also um, we have a very branch. conservative Supreme Court and that Supreme right. Court is more than likely going to move uh, uh, for let that stand with the, with those student loans being forgiven they won't be forgiven at right all. but that's you know not and that's Biden not the fault that. that's. Right, but that's not the fault. That, let's let's be clear. That's not the fault of the executive branch, and that's why we have three branches of government, which is a really important. Let me highlight a couple. Let me go back to a couple comments um, my colleagues made about, specifically calling President Biden, um, Jim Crow Biden. So listen, the, the Republican Party is the party that wouldn't allow Ruby Bridges to integrate the school and we, be the first black child to integrate the school in Louisiana. Let's be clear about that. The Republican Party also was the same party that wanted the three fifths compromise decade years ago, during, right after Reconstruction. Also, the Republican Party is the same party that has passed voter restriction laws after the 2013 Supreme Court decision to make it harder for black people in this country to vote. And let me lastly add that, with all due respect, there are plenty of black people in our community who are conservative, physical and social conservatives. But the difference is, as we said earlier, is policy. So when you say the black folks won't vote for conservatives, that is not true because I have plenty of conservatives in my family. But what they do believe is they believe in fairness. They believe black folks should have the opportunity to be economic, politically, and socially empowered. And they do not believe in a party that consistently supports someone like Donald Trump, who's an insurrectionist.